Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video, we're going to be discussing pure substances and mixtures. How do we classify matter into the categories that we look at? So firstly, we're going to look at what do we mean by matter? Um, and then starting to focus on what we call pure and impure substances, or so-called mixtures. So how do we, what are these types of things and how do we decide between them? Then focusing a little further on mixtures and grouping them into two different types. And then looking at the process of how we would classify or organise matter into one of these groups. So what is matter? Well, essentially everything that you can touch, everything you taste, everything you can feel, the air you're breathing right now is called matter. Um, now we're going to have a closer look at matter in a lot more detail as we go on. Um, but essentially it's made up of really, really, really tiny particles that can join together in all sorts of different ways. And the different ways that they join together will then help us to decide about the different type of matter that it is. So pure substances are made up of all of the same type of particles. So only one type of particle at that really smallest level. So gold, made up of gold particles. Sugar, made up of sugar particles we call molecules. Salt, made up of salt particles. Okay, so they're the only type of particle that exists in that substance. So at that smallest level, now whether it's a metal, whether it's or, or, or whatever it might be, it's still only one type of particle. However, impure substances, or what we would call mixtures, we can see one example that's popped up in the bottom, are made up of different types of particles mixed together in some way. Now that mixture might be, it might vary in how it's put together. It might be really consistent, um, but then there's more than one type of particle in there. So a tree is a mixture. Rocks like granite or obsidian that you can see here are mixtures. Um, salt water is a mixture. Peanut butter is a mixture. Okay, they're all, call, we call them impure because they're made up of different types of particles. So if we were to have a closer look at the particles of, of pure substances and mixtures, we can see a difference here. Okay, so in this top image, we can see these two pure substances are made up of only one type of particle, the green ones or the purple ones, whereas the mixture has you know, the combination of the green and the purple ones all kind of randomly mixed together. And then same thing down the bottom here, you see just blue particles and then you get a combination of yellow, blue and green particles all randomly arranged together. And so th this is kind of the key difference here. Now we can, as scientists, we can look and see that pure substances come in a couple of different categories depending on what each particle looks like. Um, but that's kind of, that's something we'll explore in a future video. But now to have a look at the mixtures. Now we can group mixtures into two categories or two scientific names based on how the mixture is, um, is put together. The first type we call homogeneous or hom homogeneous, some people pronounce it. And that is evenly mixed or dispersed. So the particles of the, the different components are all completely evenly mixed together. So soft drink is a homogeneous mixture. It's got sugar, it's got water, it's got other flavours, it's got colours, it's got acid, it's got gas, but it's all consistent, very evenly dispersed. And then a cup of tea, even with sugar in it, is a homogeneous mixture because every part of that cup of tea is the same. However, what if the particles aren't evenly mixed together? We call it a heterogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. So not evenly mixed or dispersed. So we kind of get this, this combination of nuts and, and seeds here. You can see that not all of the parts of that mixture are identical. We also get this cup of tea that has tea leaves that are sitting in the bottom. So the bottom of that mixture is a different makeup to somewhere near the top. Um, and so we say it's heterogeneous. So lots and lots of different mixtures that we encounter, um, but they would fall into one of these two categories. Now, one thing to be aware of is that we can't see the part and always see the particles that are to, 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 to look, you know, these examples here, you can see different um, bits to it. Um, you may not be able to do that, but it's still, um, but, but we can still group it in one of these ways. So then, all right, if we have matter, how do we decide? Okay, so we can kind of look at a diagram like this um, that you can copy down to, to give us an idea. We start off with something that's, a mat oh, that's matter. Does it have only one type of particle or is it more than one type of particle? And then in our pure substances, this is kind of what we can, we can classify a little bit more deeply is that, you know, is that particle made up of smaller, uh, smaller bits that joined in a certain ways or is it all the, the same type of bit? 
and then our mixtures, our homogeneous and our heterogeneous examples, depending on how evenly mixed it is. Okay, so we've recapped what we mean by matter, all the things you can touch, they're made up of really tiny particles that can arrange in different ways, that we can get pure and impure substances, depending on how many types of particles we have, and how they're mixed, or how evenly they're mixed, helps us to group mixtures into these two categories of homogeneous and heterogeneous, and then seeing how we can take matter and we can classify or group it into categories. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.